This video is to work on the CFW10 when installed in the Nebraska Blade CS201 2017 model clipper blade sharpening machine. Uh, when we have a programming error suspected, we want to start fresh with a new program. And in order to do that, first we have to go back into the programming guide and reset to the factory specifications. And the first, so the first step we're going to do is we're going to see that we have a programming key, the on-off switch, a value key for going up and down, and up in our indicators we have a red parameter light and a green value light. So first we want to make sure where we're at. So I'm just going to push the button twice. If you saw that, it went from where it was ready. I'm going to push the, the P button, which is our program button. The first time I push it, it's going to go to value, which is 000, zero, zero right now. But I want to take it back up to the red light where it says parameter. Our parameter right now is at 000, zero, zero which is our programming key. We're going to take that back down to the green light under value. And we're going to take that up to 5 and then back up to our parameter. So what we just did is we put the VFD into programming mode. Our first program that we want to change right now for reset is to take this up to a value or a, I'm sorry a value a parameter of 204 so we're going to just push the button down on the arrow up I went past it so I'm going to go until I have the 204 visible I'm going to go to value which is a green light and take that to 5 now if you watch the screen when I push the button again it's going to go EPP and flicker a little bit and eventually come back to ready just like it did in the screen. What that did is it reset all parameters back to the factory value. Now we need to go in and actually make the specific program that we have for our Nebraska Blades CS201 machine. So we want to make sure again that we are on the parameter of 000. You saw I pushed the button again down to value and back up to parameters so the red light is on and it says triple zero there. I'm going to now push down to value and we're going to move that value up to the 5 once again. Going back up to the red parameter button, we're going to set our first value that we need to program our machine. We're going to take our up arrows while it's on the red parameter light and we're going to take this up to parameter 100. You can see after we hold it for a second it'll take off and run faster, but we want to stop at 100. We're going to push our key again to expose back to our green light under value, and it's going to say 5.0. That's the factory setting. For our example here, we're going to move this up to a parameter of 35. So we're just going to scroll till we get up close. Stop at 35. We're now going to go back to our P key and move this back up to the red light for parameter. It's still it's back at our 100. We're going to go to our next setting is the 101. We're going to push our P key again to go to value, which says 10 from the factory. We're also going to move that up to 35. So we're just going to scroll again until we get up there. Thirty-five. We're going to go back to our P key and back to where it says 101. We're going to take our parameter up to 133. We're going to go back to value. It says 3.0. We're going to move this to 30.0. There's 30.0 back up to one where it says 133. Remove that with the up arrow key to 134. We're now going to move that to the value where it says 66.0. We're going to move that down to 60.0. Right there. Back up to our parameter again and we're going to go to parameter 151. Right there. Back down to value. It's going to say 300 and 80, we're going to move it down to 360.
We're going to go back up to our P key where it says 151. We're now going to move it to 221. Right there's 221. We go back over to the value. It says 000. We want that to be 1. So 001. We're going to go back up to our parameter at 221. And we're going to adjust that now to 229. There's 229. Back to value. The value is 000. We want to move that up to 001 as well. Back up to parameters at 229, we're going to move that to 300. There's our 300. It says 0, 0, 0.0, we're going to move that to a value of 2.0, so it'll be 0. Point, I'm sorry, 0.2.0. I'll do it now. So again, 0, 0.2.0. Back up to our parameter key. We're going to move this now to 302. Back down to our value. It says 50.0. We're going to move it to 75.0. 75.0. Back to our parameter key. And we're going to take our 302, we're going to go all the way back down to the 000 where we started. Here's our 000. We're going to move that back to 0 where we had our 5 for programming mode. Move that back down to 0 to take us out of programming mode. Here's our zeros. And for us to be able to watch some things change, we're going to, when we go to turn on our machine, we're going to move the parameter to 002 and then push value and you should see on your screen the 00.0, .0 and we're ready to turn on the switch and see how the motor powers up. Again, we can do a no load test without a wheel, but ultimately we want our sharpening wheel on the machine and we're going to see how it powers up. If we seem to have an issue, we can run back to into our programming mode, go back to parameter 100 or 101, those are the two that typically can have some difficulty depending on what your power source is and how well that amperage is coming into the machine from the wall. So if you need to make some adjustments, again, if it's on the power up side, we would go to our 100 setting if it's tripping out in the startup, and we would increase that number from the 35 maybe up to 40 or 45 by five second increments then we would if it's on the power down it's overloading when we're trying to stop and break we would go to the 101 setting and move that from the 35 possibly up to 40 or 45 again moving in five second increments thank you for your attention